today we are going to study about kuhnu's law in vector form this is video number 5 in the video number 4 you'll find at the end of the problem for force i have written the unit as kuhnu that is by mistake and the unit of force is always newton so remember force the unit si unit this newton not coulomb with that i move on to the concept of coulomb's law in vector form now what is coulomb's law it is the force between two charges like charges repel unlike charges attract the force of attraction or repulsion is given by 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not q1 q2 upon r square where r is the distance of separation between them and 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not is a constant in vectorial form because force being a vector we need to express it in vectorial form f vector is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not q1 q2 upon r square but both of them the line of action of the force is same so i bring a unit vector r cap so that the vector form is f vector is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not q1 q2 upon r square and just to say a unit vector which is acting in the same line of action now let us look at the two charges q1 and q2 they both are positive charges distance of separation is r naturally there is going to be a repulsive force let us say force on the first charge due to the second charge right f12 is the force on q1 due to q2 second similarly this charge is going to influence this charge now what is the force on the second charge due to the first charge you call it as f21 i have taken the direction towards this side because it is a repulsive force and i am taking here also because they both are like charges so they are repelling each other and the line of action is same so r12 is a unit vector from q1 to q2 and r21 is a unit vector from q2 to q1 so they are pointing if you just think very carefully the line of action of the two forces f1 and f2 are same the line of action is same so such forces are called central forces you call it as a central force now let us derive an equation and prove that f force on the first charge due to second charge is equal to f 1 2 is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not into q 1 q 2 upon r square now what about the unit vector the unit vector force on 1 due to 2 so the unit vector is pointing in this direction pointing in this direction that is r 2 1 so let me do here r 2 1 now let us take the second charge force on the second charge due to the first charge is equal to force on the second charge due to the first charge which is a repulsive force right and which is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not into charges are same q1 q2 upon r square into now what about the direction of the unit vector you see force on 2 due to 1 and you see this is the direction of the unit vector right so i can write r 1 to cap let us call this as equation number 1 equation number 2 very clearly we can see that this fact of the whole thing has not changed f 1 2 and r 2 1 f 2 1 R12, they are repulsive. Now, in vectorial form, we know that R21 direction cap is equal to 
R21 direction is opposite to R12. So can I write it R12 cap minus? They both are in opposite direction. So I take this condition. If I take this condition, you will find that these two are in the opposite direction, which means that force 1, 2 will be equal to minus of force 2, 1. Okay, so this is this very important uh, uh, what do you call it? inference we take it because force being a vector, charges being repulsive, it obeys uh, Newton's third law of motion, which means the every action does an equal and opposite reaction. So F12, how much force this is giving will be equal in magnitude F21 but opposite in direction because it is obeying Ohm's, it is obeying Newton's third law. Now I told you it is also a central 